Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Emperor Series 88. My name is Tanya. All right, let's do a quick collective reading. Any energy, any sign. Energy does not have a gender. So excuse me if I do say he or she. Like on the way in, it gives me an energetic donation to the channel, helps me tune into you. Past, present, or future energy could be at play, so flip the roles. I could be saying you and meaning your person, could be saying your person and meaning you. And if the shoe don't fit, you quit. Check your placement. You could have more than one astrological sign in your chart. So let's see what the overall energy of this reading is. And thank you so much for all of you who have liked and subscribed. I so appreciate you. All right. Find balance. Here's the first card out. And I mean, these cards are literally jumping in the air. It's crazy. Joy and stability. What else? Teach. Mm. Coming together. Shine. Bottom of the deck. Healing begins. Nurture is also here. Somebody needs to nurture themselves. Could be you, possibly. Just breathe. <laughs> Somebody's going through hell in their life. They needed to find balance. This person really does shine, though. They needed to look to their own self for joy and stability instead of another person. care enough about themselves to walk away from situations that didn't serve them anymore. Healing begins by walking away from individuals that are toxic. Yeah, finding balance. Too much giving and not enough receiving or not caring enough about yourself to say no is what I'm hearing. Because this person, you or your person, are too caring, too easy going, too easily used is what I'm hearing from spirit. And it's nice to help other people, but when you're drowning yourself, you can't help anybody. So your joy and stability was really in jeopardy here. You're a person that shines stands out in the crowd a possible teacher right? or you're being taught by somebody take it how it resonates coming together somebody wants to come together with you to be a team with you but you have to confront old wounds old demons within yourself Healing is here as well. There's an awful lot of transformative energy that has to take place for you in order for you to send and be happy. Otherwise, you stay stuck and moody and miserable. That's what I'm hearing. You need to nurture yourself and Yeah, and that's how, I mean, that's just the first steps here for you. For a long time, it's almost as if this energy didn't give a damn about themselves. It was just all self-sacrificing to other people and situations and losing yourself. Being very unstable based on that. Even your mental health could have suffered. And nobody was there to save you. Maybe condemn you. Maybe give you bad advice. Maybe make you feel bad about yourself. Question your own sanity, right, at times. But not help you. The, their advice wasn't what you needed. That's what I'm hearing from spirit. Yeah. 
Here, give me some more information here on this person who's really needing to heal. Two cards came out. One was the last quarter moon in Aquarius. So it could be Aquarius in your chart, or it could be an Aquarius or your person. Reflect on your priorities. This is what I'm saying here. Yeah. Last quarter moon in Cancer. You could be a Cancer. Have it in your chart. Take a breather. So it's like, it's really something where you have to care about yourself. Care enough about yourself. To self-reflect. To step back. To take a nap. <laughs> Whatever it takes. Walk in nature. You know, do a hobby. Whatever it is. There's something about you that's really strong tight like a bow maybe one of those a type personalities and you need to like back off from that and stop trying to save people you're always giving you're always extending yourself and you're draining yourself dry yeah that's what i'm hearing attuned to the divine and that's what's going to get you know get you stable that's what it's going to help you to heal you had past childhood hurts. Parents that didn't understand you. Parents that said things that, that wounded you and made you feel lousy. For some of you, treated you like absolute shit. And it made you feel like you deserved it or that it was acceptable. And other people came in in your life relationships and did the same thing and you just took it yeah that's what I'm hearing we've got two of spades here and there's a, like an indecision about moving away from people could be family members that you know you are a family oriented person but it's like these people are toxic man and you know it five of hearts Jealousy. These people could be jealous of you. Jealous that you shine. Jealous that you stand out. Jealous that you're so caring. It's like... There are people within our own family that can be toxic. Comic, toxic people. Right? Lessons that we need to learn through our family. Ten of Pentacles. There's wealth here. There could be money that you're going to inherit. Or money you're going to obtain. Or people see you, you have a good job, you're a good saver, whatever the case may be. People are jealous of you for that. Yeah, wishes. It's like almost like nine, you are a wish fulfillment to other people, but also your wishes come true, nine of hearts. Which is Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Pentacles, ten of diamonds is pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Right? And the two of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. There's a king here, king of clubs, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. A stubborn person. You could be a stubborn person. Spirit might be trying to get to you, talk to you, reason with you, that you need to take care of yourself before your health starts failing, if it hasn't already. Nine of spades. Yeah, you're an anxious individual, but you could be very anxious about making choices that are good for you you might be this self-sacrificing person and it's affecting you in a negative way spirit saying yep queen of spades maybe even leave you angry and bitter or people could be angry and bitter towards you because they see you as successful they see you as a good person and they want to tear you apart some people are like that yep Somebody wants to partner up with you, though. Three of clubs here. What is this person coming together about, spirit? Saying the jack of spades. A roguish person. Somebody thinks of as sexy. Maybe you think of as sexy. This person wants to partner up with you. Yep, yeah, ace of clubs is here as well. There's good fortune in this partnership. Five of diamonds. Yeah, somebody wants to reconcile with you as well. Could be family members that have treated you rotten. Could be a past person. Who knows? Two of hearts. 
who have luck and love, maybe that's what makes people jealous of you. There's so many different things that are so good about you that people hate, even in your family. Sorry to say, people can be like that. Ten, ten, nine o'clock. Eight of hearts. You're moving on, though. You're going to move on. If you haven't gotten the point Spirit's trying to get to you, you will. The Spirit is teaching you karmic lessons as well. Because what does it say? No good deed goes unpunished. It's not okay for people to treat you a certain way. That's true. But sometimes we treat ourselves like crap. And maybe that's what's happening to you. You just don't give a crap about yourself. And you allow people to walk on you. Eight of Diamonds. Yeah. You're getting an unexpected alliance. Somebody is coming forward to help you. Or wants to partner up with you. Six of Spades. There's an upswing in your life. That's going to happen. A change in the wind. Two of Clubs. There's been obstacles though. Because of you aligning yourselves with toxic individuals. In, even if they're family members. There's an inheritance. This is what I mean. There's money here and wealth. And this could be a sticking point in families where money divides people. And maybe you're coming into an inheritance and wealth and people are jealous of you and people want what you have and people are fighting with you over this. It's leaving you anxious because it could be family that you love that's doing this to you. Eight of clubs. Yep, there's hardships here tough choices and decisions that you have to make nine of diamonds extra money man this is what i'm saying there's some sort of money that is a sticking point with people that you could have won the lottery you could have won um somebody could have died and gave you an, an inheritance and people are pissed about it in your family people are fighting with you over it it's leaving you anxious because it's not something that you asked for it's something that happened to you because you're lucky in love and probably money as well you have a lot of attributes that people, somebody that passed away or passed on for some of you wanted to give you this money because you were deserving of it. But there's family members that feel slighted because they didn't get the money. I'm telling you, there's something here about money. And Spirit is saying that you need to separate yourself from these individuals. They're toxic and they're showing it. And you need to heal. You need to confront your past, how you feel about yourself. Because how you feel about yourself is how you're projecting or drawing toxic people into your life is what spirit is saying you have the opportunity for growth expansion money success but you are the one that is holding yourself back from that you're allowing other people to dictate to you what when if and how you should live your life and you need to break free from that toxic cycle and only then will you get everything that you're manifesting and wanting because you want love you want happiness you want change but you are the executive of that change. Nobody can do that for you is what Spirit's saying. You need to confront your past. You need to heal from past wounds. You need to care about yourself. And just breathe, man. Don't let these people get to you is what Spirit's saying. So many times you've, give up, you've, gi you've given up and you've given in to people's opinions and advice. Even though it went against what you wanted to do. And spirit is saying enough's enough and too much is good for nothing get over this you've got to get over these people dictating to you somebody wants to come together and partner with you an unexpected person that you won't expect you never expected to come forward and be that alliance with you that guide to you accept that help is what spirit's saying that's all i have for you today on emperor series 888 please like and subscribe and join my tribe i'd love to have you till next time be safe out there my friends be blessed.